everyone, this is Chris from Raven's World. Uh, I have a little uh, treat for you here. Um, I'm going to be discussing uh, about um, an upcoming uh, 3D print playlist that I'm going to be putting together. Um, I have currently uh, about five, I think, maybe six, but I think definitely, definitely five at least uh, 3D printed. Uh, four are already put together, one has to be uh, assembled. And um, once I get the, the outlets, the two outlets put it on the side of the wall where my uh, sh shelf is, uh, I'll be um, plugging them all in, getting them all ready to be run up, and um, start uh, 3D printing stuff, which will then be on that uh, 3D print uh, uh, playlist on my channel. Um, but I just wanted to give you a little, little glimpse of some of the things that could be um, made. Um, that are currently already, I have that are already made and some things that could be made. Um, 3D printing is, you know, basically if you're not familiar with it, is that these um, machines uh, ranging from different sizes. Um, some small, some have a big um, print space, and um, and some are like a tube going up, and uh, so you could make like. A, you know, if you're doing like cosplay, you can do like a, a whole Iron Man leg or uh, you know, stuff like that. And um, you know, it's really exciting. You could, it, it, use, it takes plastic, PLA, and other um, brands, all kinds. Um, they have wood filament and um, you know, um, ones that look like. Um, Metal and some to look could make it look like um, uh, what's it called like pottery like kind of thing. Um, they have all different kinds of textures that could that could be made into all kinds of things. Uh, you could do with a wood filament and make like a, a picture frame, and you wouldn't even notice the difference. Um, uh, they have one that I seen a person that had uh, uh, these two um, girder pieces. Um, that he painted metallic and it looked like actual metal girder ends and he put them up on the wall, put a, a wooden shelf on it and used it and created his own little shelf and it looked very real and um, it was very exciting and um, you know, some, some of the things, there's all kinds of things that you could um, you could make um, some, you know, I have made myself, some I've gotten from other people. Um, when I first started doing it, I felt like it was kind of like I was, um, you know, plucking something out of my head and, and giving it form. And, and in that particular case, the first thing, one of the first things I did was I made a Legend of Zelda sword. Um, and it uh, looked really cool. Um, you know, probably could make an even better one now than I did then, but, um, you know, it was really nice. Um, and um, I had since sold it, and if someone wanted to buy it, I could figure I could always make another one. Also, if you're, uh, you know, a fan of um, super, the TV show Supernatural, um, I have the uh, Demon Blade. And uh, it's very nice. This is for sale, as is the first blade. I'm working on the teeth, um, but uh, everything else is, uh, you know, is ready. You know, and ready to be, you know, hung up. You can you can make it a stand, and you could just lay it there, and. Uh, you know, uh, it'd be really nice decorative piece. Um, there's some stuff I've made too. I have to get this fixed because my son broke the piece of it. But I have the um, Elder Wand from Harry Potter. It came out very nice. I like it. I just gotta um, glue the tip back on. Um, I had also in the past made and sold uh, 18. 46 or 47 Colt Walker, I think that was the, the, the name. And uh, this is like one of the cylinders you could use. 
the all the way through, right? You could probably um, even um, open up the uh, the end, the back end, so you can maybe load it from the front. Uh, some of the ones that you make could could uh, it don't fire, um, but you could make it where you, when you the hammer the chamber will turn and then you fire and then the hammer goes forward, but it won't actually shoot anything. I don't make that kind of stuff. That's you know not right. I mean now if it was a Nerf blaster that'd be different, but um, the Western pistol I made was clear was, was only de decorative. Um, you know, some of the other things that you could, um, make, you can see back on my, my wall there, um, you, the thing that, it, you got the, the bandolier hanging from a hook right next to a 3D printed shotgun called the Spring Thunder, uh, and then below it, um, sorry, below it is the, uh, Winchester, that's also 3D printed, and next to the, uh, um, the shotgun is a pistol, which on the very top, which is uh, also 3D printed. Um, it uses the brown one, um, uses the reg the 3D printed regular size um, shells. I don't have one near me, but um, and um, the the one below it and the pistol use. Um, these you can use um, use half size darts. Um, the uh, um, or the um, what you call it the spring thunder um, uses um, could use anywhere from regular size darts. Um, it could use uh, mega darts. It could use even the uh, the round little, the round little Nerf balls, um, uh, which if you put three in there, it fires out all three like a buckshot, you know. Um, uh, and there's one you can fit three long darts in at a time, probably um, uh, simulating the same thing as a buckshot. And um, you know, it's very, it's very cool that you know how they, um, you know, make it, you know. You, the way the way it is, you know, you just put a little half little half sized dart in there, load it in, and the uh, all three of those back there um, are um, shell ejecting. Um, so after they fire the dart, it, the next when you go for the next sh round, it, it tosses out the shell. Um, this is um, a three D printed clip. I have to finish painting um, for the pistol back there. Um, I got two, um, and I could make more if I if I had to. Um, another thing that's really cool is um, they started coming out with um, 3D printable transformers, and um, I have the the actual throne because it came with the Star Scream that I had got for my birthday, and uh, but you can 3D print um, an actual duplicate of this. And if you have like a decent scanner, um, you could scan like the original and make more, um, which is uh, fascinating. Um, I, I love that, you know, a lot. And um, I'm working with, um, for those that might know, I'm working, try, I'm trying to work with um, my uh, mini factory. Uh, they do a lot, put out a lot of the, um, 3D printable um, files, and um, they they came out with a um, they have a um, scanner um, on the Kickstarter um, site uh, called the Revo Point Mini, and uh, I'm working on hopefully being able to um, show that to you folks uh, if, if they were to send me it. Um, and um, I'll try to see if in this video if I could somehow add um, a uh, even a thumbnail of what the full built um, Fortress Maximus that's, that's 3D printable uh, looks like. Um, it's uh, very fascinating, you know. And if any piece breaks, 
You, if it's a, a hand brake, you can just 3D print another one, you know, so on. And um, you could also 3D print add-ons and weapons for various Transformers too, uh, which is, um, you know, really nice. And what, what's cool is you just not just not just Nerf Gar blasters. It's not just um, cosplay stuff. It's not just you know, those kind of things, you could do vases, like I said, picture frames, crown molding, locks, um, puzzle boxes, um, Hellraiser, um, and, um, uh, you know, all sorts of things. I mean, it's like endless. I mean, um, like I have like this, it broke, but I'm trying to fix it. It's a Thor's hammer, right? But when you turn it, It's a pen. Cool, huh? I just gotta find a glue that works best with this so I can glue the handle back. And otherwise, it's, in, it's in still in great shape. Um, you know, it's really amazing the fun you could have with these things um, with a 3D printer. And if you have a bunch of them, you can make cosplay stuff. Um, if, you're, if you go to those conventions and whatnot, um, you know, just a lot of useful things, you know, a battery holder, um, you name it. You just have to go, like I said, my mini factory is, is one. Um, if you just Google 3D print files, uh, you'll get a whole bunch of places that you can go to. And a lot of them are free. Um, I think it's, um, I'm trying to remember the name, uh, the DO3D is one. There's another one where you can actually buy files that are really good. Like I have one that's the uh, full um, Darth Vader helmet and all the pieces though I could put on the bottom piece and the part that has the breathing that goes up to the mouth and then the dome would snap on. Um, you can 3D print a Predator helmet. Um, you know, all kinds of stuff. Fun and useful around the house. Um, I have a full set of um, of the interior of the uh, Autobot ship uh, from the Transformers cartoon, as well as the Decepticon ship. And like this is like the part of the Teletran One that I'm uh, painting, um, so uh, I can create like a diorama playset. So it's very exciting. You know, I just wanted to give you a little brief glimpse in it and to show you that for what's to come. So if anybody it hasn't subscribed yet, or um, if, excuse me a minute. Sorry, sorry there. I had my son bugging me. Um, what I was saying was is um, if you know somebody that's uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you know somebody that you was well, interested in three D printing that would like to subscribe. Please uh, send them my way and have them subscribe, have them um, like and view the videos. And if they could like and view all, all as many videos as I can, even if it's not something to do with 3D printing, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, and, um, you know, maybe if I, you know, reach 100 or more, maybe I can give 3D print something and maybe give it away or something. We can work something out, maybe... Um, whoever reaches, you know, whoever's the hundredth person, you know, I can 3D print something and, and send it to you. You know, we can work something out. That's not a problem. Um, anyway, I hope this was informative. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And, um, you know, be sure to, you know, give me time to answer the question. Um, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Everybody have a great day.